State leaders are on high alert today as they continue to track water levels. We saw our first round of rain in the metro earlier today with thunderstorms and more rain on the way. It's expected rivers will continue running high through the week. That includes the Mississippi River in St. Paul, where the water is expected to reach major flood stage early next week. Our Adam Duxter is live there now. Adam, that river is already reaching a point it rarely has in the last 10 years. Yeah, good afternoon, Shayla. Right now, that river is at moderate flooding stage. It just crested into moderate flooding stages this morning. Just over 15 feet. We're expected to see this river get up to over 18 feet. Major flood stages by the end of this week. But even already now at 15 feet, you can see the Mississippi River start to come over these barricades here at parks along the river here in St. Paul. You can see all sorts of stuff kind of washing up with that as those barricades go up. You've also got multiple streets closed here in St. Paul right now, but the big thing we're hearing is the rain tonight. That's what state officials are watching out for as they continue to make their plans. The National Weather Service is part of a press briefing earlier today in St. Paul, and they say they're really looking at any rain we could get northwest of here. So picture around St. Cloud because they say everything that they get ends up here a couple of days later, and they say if we get up to a couple of inches of rain, especially northwest of here, it could end up impacting that river total by over a foot. But still, the folks around here, along with state leaders at that press conference, say they are very confident they've got a handle on this situation. It's good because a lot of I was here last summer and it was down, you know, and it was kind of a slow, muddy river. So it's kind of nice to see see the water flowing and, you know. It's a river. It's a natural thing. There's not much you can do about it. We need everybody's help on this. This is really serious. Listen to it when it happens. But there's an orderly professional fashion. And one of the things Governor Walls talked about with that is the fact that these city and state leaders have levels of this river, knowing that when it reaches a certain point, this is what's going to happen, right? And one of the things here in St. Paul that they know is that their levee height is 31 feet. So again, the river is expected to crest at just about 18 feet, not quite 20 feet. We would not crack the top 10 of the worst floods they've even seen here in St. Paul. Again, the worst one was in 1965. We got to just about 26 feet along the river here. So again, Shayla, the big thing is that they're watching that rain tonight. But again, folks still say they're confident they're uh, they've really got a handle on the situation here. All right, important information. Our Adam Duxter reporting. We're seeing a break in the rain right now at noon, but the next weather tower is green today because more rain and some snow are on the way. Our next weather meteorologist Lisa Meadows joining us now, keeping a close eye on things for us, Lisa. Yes, Shayla, something we're going to be watching not only for today, tonight, as we continue to go throughout the next couple of days, as we do have precipitation in the forecast for the rest of the work week. Here's the look right now. When it comes to the radar picture, our first round of precipitation pretty much moved on out of here for central Minnesota, the metro region, even locations out into western Wisconsin, just seeing a little bit of that frozen precip across the far northern part of the state, including Grand Rapids. Temp there at 37. Same deal for Hinkley. We're at 42 here in the Twin Cities, 41. One in St. Cloud into the 30s only for western Wisconsin, 36 as we look out to Rice Lake. So here's the deal with that flooding potential. If you look where the pink color is, those dots, that is where we anticipate the major flood stage across some of these rivers. And this is also going to be exacerbated by the rain that we have in the forecast as we head into tonight. Now notice that bottom row there of green bars, it starts to move up. When it comes to this evening, once we get past dinner time, showers will return to the forecast. Notice that these temperatures for today also still stay below average. We're going to be cloudy with temperatures only into the 40s. We keep with rain chances, like I said, going throughout the rest of the work week. Things start to taper off as we head into the weekend, but we do have quite a bit to go through before we start to see things dry out and finally warm up. I'll break down all of these details in just a bit, Shayla. All right, thank you so much, Lisa. Of course, you can find updated flooding risks and all of our latest coverage on WCCO.com. And of course, whether it's online or on television, you can count on WCCO's team to help you prepare for whatever is coming up next. And as soon as there's any kind of change in your forecast, we promise to let you know.